Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Y'all, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, whichever you feel is appropriate. Uh, leave me your comments. I do read them all. I can't answer them all. I hope you understand. Update on my wife. I talked to her just a few minutes ago, and she will be coming home today. Uh, I don't know what time. I'm just waiting on the phone call, so maybe it won't be too long. But she is doing a lot better. She had a rough time breathing last night. They gave her some oxygen, and that helped out a lot. But I want to thank you all for all your prayers, and I want to thank God for answering them. Okay, on to the stimulus stuff. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. It's you can you can hear something like right now and five minutes from now it's gonna be changed. So everything is up in the air. It's happening fast. Mitch McConnell says he wants another stimulus check in this next bill. That's good because he's the only one that we was kind of concerned about would want one or not. And now that Nancy Pelosi has already said she wants one, President Trump has said he wants one, now Mitch has said that they want one, it's pretty much a done deal. It's You can almost rest assured there's going to be a stimulus check in this package. We still don't know how much, and we still don't know who's going to get it. But at least we know there will be one. Mitch McConnell also said that he wants more money for schools. He says that kids need to get back to school this fall to get their education and to mingle with other kids, to make friends. I can halfway agree with him, but I'm still kind of worried about going back to school. Steve Mnuchin said again, the next bill will be passed by the end of the month. A lot of people saying that's a good dream, but it won't happen. Steve Mnuchin still insists that it will. I believe it will also. We'll just have to wait and see, though. Mnuchin also said they will aim for $1 trillion in the stimulus package. I think it's a good aim, but it's going to be more than that. It's almost a sure thing it will be more than $1 trillion. That's not enough to do everything that they're wanting to do. Trump is pushing hard for the employee tax cut. But Senator Grassley said the money would be better spent giving people a bigger stimulus check. Grassley also said that he don't want the $40,000 cap. And I've noticed that they've quit talking about that $40,000 cap so much. So I think that's out the window because they realize that's, that's kind of crazy. Everybody is feeling the hurt. Even people that makes good money in their jobs and, you know, some people would call them well off. Even they're feeling the hurt. I mean, everything costs more. So I think it should be... If you've got the stimulus check before, you will get it this time and add the other people that didn't get it. I think everybody should get it. The Democrats wants to give $600 per week unemployment boost. They want to keep it the way it, way it is right now. That's meeting a lot of opposition. I don't think it's going to happen. The Republicans are wanting to give two to $400 per week. I think it's going to be towards the end, the lighter end of that scale. Uh, I think we see where this is going. It's, it's not going to be, I'm looking for like $200 a week. State and local government, it's still the same. Republicans wants to give zero. Democrats wants to give one trillion. But the Republicans wants to loosen the restrictions on the money that the state and local governments got from the CARES Act so they could have more control of how they spend the money. A lot of states have still got a lot of money, but they can't spend it because of the restrictions. If they loosen the restrictions, they probably won't need more stimulus money. 
Mitch McConnell said on the Senate floor that he does not want to waste people's time. Come on, Mitch. You're a fine one to talk about wasting people's time. The House sent you a bill, and you sit on it for over two months, and now you're talking about wasting people's time? Come on, Mooch. You can do better than that. You can come up with something better than that. Mitch McConnell said that the package will contain liability protection to protect against frivolous lawsuits. I totally agree with that. People are so sue happy today that they will sue over anything. And this will stop a lot of that. If, if companies are totally negligent and it can be proved that there was negligence by not providing the PPEs that people need to protect themselves and other people, they can still be sued under this plan. But you just can't go into a restaurant, already have COVID, go into a restaurant, sit down, get up and leave, and go call a lawyer and say you got in that restaurant. And a lot of people would be doing that. Once you uh, become a, a business, uh, a licensed business, you're open for all kinds of lawsuits. Uh, there's people that's driving on the road, they look for company vehicles to have a wreck with so they can have a lawsuit. This world is so crazy. Okay, let's talk a little bit about what happens if President Trump don't sign the bill without a payroll tax cut. Like he said, he said that he would not sign it if he don't get the payroll tax cut. Okay, if he don't sign it, he will have to send it back to the Senate. And they can do either one or two things with it. They could just sit on it. We know how they like to just sit on something and not, not budge. So they could do that, and they're good at that. Or they could just get with the House and get the bill passed without Donald Trump. They don't need Donald Trump to pass the bill if they both, the House and the Senate, both agrees on it. They don't need Donald Trump's signature. They can pass it without him. But now, if this happens, this will surely cost Donald Trump the election in November. He don't want that, and I think he's smart enough to know that that would happen. So the bottom line is, yeah, he will sign the bill, whether it's got that payroll tax cut or not, he will sign the bill, or he's done. He may be done anyway. We don't know. Okay, good news. This is the best news yet. We know the House wants a stimulus check in this next bill. We know Donald Trump wants a bigger stimulus check in this next bill. Now, the Republican senators, most of them, wants a stimulus check in this next bill. But the key is there, Mitch McConnell wants it. He is the senior Republican leader. So if Mitch McConnell wants it, chances are it will happen. So... The way I see this, stimulus checks is pretty much a given. It will be another stimulus check. Y'all, I'm going to ask y'all to do me a huge favor. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to it. I'm going to probably hit 50,000 subscribers today, and I really want to push forward and get that 100,000 so I can get my silver play button to hang right back there on the wall. I don't know if you've seen the silver play button, but they are really nice looking, and I want one. Please help me get it. Y'all, I make these videos every morning at 6 a.m. Throughout this whole package process, this time I'm going to be making them also at 1 p.m. every day. Now, I'm not sure about today 
if I will have time to make one because my wife may be coming home from the hospital today. So we'll just have to wait and see. If, if there's any way possible I can get one made, I will do it. But every morning at 6 a.m., every evening at 1 p.m., Y'all, please come back. Give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down. Leave me your comments. Let me know how you're doing. I do read every one of my comments. And please share my videos out. It would help me tremendously. And just know I love you all. We will get out of this thing with our heads held high. It's just going to take a little bit longer. But with faith in God, we can make it. I love you all. Ciao.